Hello everyone, this is Abhishek Bhagirwal. Today I have come up with another interesting video of Salesforce Experience Cloud. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up CMS workspace and use the content of this in your Experience Cloud site. So let's get started. So here I have opened Digital Experiences uh, application in which I have opened the Home tab. In the home tab you can see the section for all cms workspaces here i am gonna add a new workspace i'm gonna give it a name as my workspace and the type i am selecting as cms workspace now uh, it will ask us to add channels channels are nothing but the experience cloud sites which are available in your org so I'm going to select all three sites which are in my org available for now. Click next. Then it asks us to add the contributors. Now the contributors are the users or groups who can use this workspace or manage this workspace, add, remove, archive, publish content in this workspace. All those things they can perform. So I'm going to select one of the users here. Click next. Now I'm going to assign a role to this user. Now there are two contributor roles. One is content admin and one is content manager. Admin is similar like the system admin which will be having full access on the workspace and even he can add or remove the contributors as well. And content manager on the other hand is having all access on the workspace he can add remove publish archive content but he cannot add or remove contributors or change their roles like that so i'm gonna select for now content admin for this user click next now uh, if there is a requirement to add the content in multiple languages based on regions or based on users profile so you can add multiple languages here for now i do not have any such requirement i'm selecting english and default language as well english click next you can review whatever uh, configuration you have given and click done so now your workspace is created now another step would be to add the content in your workspace so i'm gonna click add content and i'm adding an image Okay, you can add document, image, or use anything, but for now I'm adding an image. Click upload files. Let's see. I'm gonna select an image. And the title I'm gonna give. Click save drop and click publish. So once your content is published, go to one of your experience cloud site and on the workspaces, I'm gonna go to the content management. And in under the shared content you can see our content is going to populate so this alien header we have created over here now i can see that is available in my workspace under the workspace under content management it is available for me to use so this is one of the site which i have configured and this is one of the banner so i'm gonna just change the image of this banner so I'm going to use this image which I have provided in my workspace. Click save. As you can see, the image has been populated. So that's how uh, you can use the workspaces and content management system to provide the content on multiple channels or multiple experience cloud sites. And you can manage content properly by saving it as a draft by publishing it archiving it or deleting it so it provides a lot of extra functionalities for a proper content management that's all 
about this video thank you for watching and please subscribe my channel as abhishek bhagerwal please give likes and comments as uh, if you like my video thank you